Imagine appearing on a popular TV show, unknowingly sitting across from a charming man who, beneath his charismatic exterior, hides a chilling secret, a serial killer. This was the reality for Cheryl Bradshaw, a contestant on the dating game in 1978, who was moments away from a date with one of America's most dangerous predators. The story of Rodney Alcala, the dating game killer, is as horrifying as it is unbelievable, and Netflix's Woman of the Hour brings this shocking tale to life. Rodney Alcala's crime span across decades, leaving a trail of victims from California to New York. Alcala, who was eventually convicted for at least seven murders, is suspected of taking the lives of up to 130 women, but his evil nature was hidden from public view for years. In 1978, despite his dark history, Alcala appeared as a contestant on The Dating Game, a popular TV show where a bachelorette questioned three bachelors before choosing one for a date. Cheryl Bradshaw, the bachelorette on that episode, unknowingly picked the man who would later be known as one of the most notorious serial killers in America. Netflix's Woman of the Hour reimagines this chilling episode in history, with Anna Kendrick portraying Cheryl Bradshaw and Daniel Zavato taking on the role of Alcala. The film shines a spotlight on the bizarre and sinister nature of Alcala's TV appearance, as well as the horror that followed once his murderous rampage was uncovered. But how did a man with such a gruesome past make it onto a beloved game show? And what happened to Cheryl Bradshaw after that fateful night? This is the story of how Alcala's crimes unfolded, his infamous TV appearance, and how he was ultimately caught. In 1978, the Dating Game was one of the most watched shows in America, offering viewers the excitement of romantic suspense as a bachelorette interviewed three eligible bachelors. Rodney Alcala, introduced as bachelor number one, was portrayed as a charming photographer with a love for fine art. What no one knew at the time was that Alcala had already been convicted of sexual assault and attempted murder. He had brutally attacked a young girl, Tali Shapiro, nearly a decade before his TV appearance. After fleeing to avoid capture, Alcala was placed on the FBI's most wanted list, but it wasn't until 1971 that he was arrested. Despite his violent past, Alcala was released after serving just a few years in prison, free to continue his killing spree. Cheryl Bradshaw, the bachelorette on Alcala's episode of The Dating Game, flirted with the seemingly suave contestant, asking lighthearted questions like, what's your best time, and what would you be called if I served you for dinner? Alcala's responses were playful yet unsettling, such as his infamous reply, I'm called the banana, and I look good. To the studio audience, it was all part of the fun, but behind Alcala's charismatic facade was a monster. Though Bradshaw chose Alcala as the winning bachelor, she later sensed something deeply unsettling about him. She would later confide to the show's producers that she got weird vibes from Alcala and refused to go on the date. Little did she know, her instincts may have saved her life. Alcala's time on the dating game did not end his killing spree. Over the next few years, he continued to lure women with promises of photography sessions, only to brutally assault and murder them. Among his victims was 12-year-old Robin Samso, a ballet student whom he abducted in 1979. Her murder, along with mounting evidence, led to Alcala's arrest later that year. It was during this investigation that detectives discovered a storage locker rented by Alcala, containing hundreds of photos of young women and children, many of whom remain unidentified to this day. This grim discovery painted a horrific picture of Alcala's life, he had likely killed far more than the seven women he was convicted of murdering. Alcala's initial trial in 1980 resulted in a conviction for Samso's murder, but the case was overturned in 1984 due to legal technicalities. In 1986, Alcala was tried again and once more convicted, only for this conviction to be overturned as well in 2003. However, advancements in DNA technology finally allowed investigators to connect Alcala to several other unsolved murders. In 2010, he was convicted of five murders and sentenced to death. Even in prison, his crimes continued to surface. In 2012, 
Alcala was sentenced for two more murders, and by 2016, he had been linked to yet another victim. Rodney Alcala's gruesome legacy serves as a stark reminder of the terrifying potential that can lurk behind even the most charismatic personalities. His appearance on the dating game remains one of the most eerie moments in television history, a moment when a serial killer sat smiling before millions, with none the wiser. Cheryl Bradshaw, who thankfully followed her intuition, moved on with her life after her brief and terrifying encounter with Alcala, retreating from the public eye to focus on her family. Alcala, however, met a very different fate. After decades of legal battles and the slow revelation of his horrendous crimes, he died in 2021 while awaiting execution. But his story, as told in Woman of the Hour, continues to captivate audiences today, not just as a tale of a killer finally brought to justice, but as a chilling example of how evil can sometimes hide in plain sight.